welcome to Wednesday's edition of Cracking the Cryptic, where the eagle-eyed amongst you will realise that we are not doing Sudoku today. We are doing a Philomeno variant based on the four-colour theorem, no less. How many grid? It's 10 by 10 grid by the looks of things. It's called Spectrum. Uh, and it's by micro study and I checked on the catalogue. I have never done a micro study puzzle before. Um, Mark has done a micro study Sudoku before, um, but I'm going to be trying this one. Now I can tell you, uh, I had a look at Logic Masters Germany where this puzzle has been uh, posted uh, before I turned on the webcam and some of the great and the good of the solving community have, have positively commented on this one. People like Jesper, Zetamath, uh, Zendari, um, to name but a few. Uh, and basically everyone is saying this is a masterpiece. KNT, I remember, also really liked it. So we should be in for a lot of fun. Um, and I will read you the rules in a moment or two. Uh, for the four color theorem, of course, I'm sure if you're watching Crack in the Cryptic, you must know what the four color theorem is already. But it's the idea that any map you can color the countries in um, ju just with four colors such that no two countries with the same color would touch would touch or would share a border with each other. Um, it's a fascinating idea. I'm not sure. I might be misspeaking here, but I think it might have been proved by a computer before it was proved by a mathematician uh, or geographer. Uh, that could be wrong. Don't hold me to that if I've got that wrong. But that's ringing some sort of bell in the, in the back of my mind. Also ringing a bell in the back of my mind is that I have done a puzzle on the, uh, on the channel before that was themed around the four color theorem. I think that might have been a J Dyer puzzle. Um, uh, but which is probably why I have fond memories of the of the words four color theorem. Uh, anyway, we'll read the rules of this one and we'll battle with it together in a moment or two's time. It's very windy today, all of a sudden, which might mean my door starts to act like a poltergeist is maneuvering it. I hope not. Um, but what do I need to tell you about today? I'm going to start with an anniversary. So to David and Amanda, many congratulations on your 20th anniversary, which is today. I realize I should know what the jewel is that's associated with the number 20. And I don't know what it is. I know ruby is 40. Diamond is 50. Hmm. Sapphire, maybe? I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure. But anyway, I hope you have an absolutely brilliant day today. It sounds like a very good excuse for cake uh, to me and perhaps even champagne. Um, and then the only other thing I need to mention is what's going on over on Patreon. Two things to say there. The first is that we've got our Sudoku hunt for July, uh, which is called Kraken the Cryptic. Here is my Kraken mug right there. Uh, the crack in the cryptic Sudoku hunt is themed on things like tentacles and mermaids and krakens uh, and is a lot of fun. Many, well, many hundreds of you actually have solved that now correctly. Very well done to everyone who has managed to send in uh, a correct answer. Um, and the feedback seems to seems to be that it's about the right difficulty level. So it's it's not too hard um, while still providing a bit of a challenge. So do have a crack at that if you can. And for those of you who struggled with last month's monthly reward, which is, was, of course, the planet's suite, I think particularly uh, the, there were two puzzles in that, the Saturn and the Jupiter puzzle, which was called By Jove. We've got the solution videos up for, the, for those puzzles as well. So if you did struggle, go and check those out on Patreon um, and hopefully all will be revealed. Um, other than that, do I have anything else to mention? I don't think so. Let's have a look at Spectrum by MicroStudy um, before the wind blows us away. And these are the rules. So we've got Philomeno today. So Philomeno means we've got to divide the grid into regions of orthogonally connected cells. Let's just stop there for a moment and check that we all understand what orthogonally connected meant. That is the poltergeist. Um, orthogonally connected means share an edge. So these cells, for example, would be an orthogonally connected region. If we added that one, these ones are not orthogonally connected because these two cells here, although they touch at a point, they don't share an edge and that's that's not going to work. Um, so we've got to divide the grid into regions of orthogonally connected cells such that no two regions of the same size in terms of the number of cells they have in them 
share an edge so let's 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 play around with this a bit more if this region was of size 4 and it is and this was another region of size 4 it doesn't have to be the same shape maverick maverick has ch i don't believe this how long has this video been going less than 5 well about 5 minutes and maverick has taken off from the local airstrip airstrip and burned past my window it is uncanny if i if I was a believer in um, conspiracy theories, I would I would check my room for bugs. I don't know how he knows every time. Um, but anyway, this would be illegal because we have two regions of the same size connected across a border. And that is most certainly what we're not allowed to do in Philomeno. Um, we've got to enter a number into each cell equal to the size of its region. <laughs> I'm being accosted by poltergeists. So again, if that was a region, we'd have to write six into all those squares. That's, that's what that's telling us. But that is not the end of the rules. We've got the four color theorem piece, which tells us that each region must be shaded entirely in one color. Okay, well, that's not surprising. There are a total of four different colors in the grid and regions of the same color cannot touch orthogonally. Hang on, regions of the same color cannot touch orthogonally, okay. Uh, so, so okay, I'm just pausing there because that's okay. So regions of the same size can't touch orthogonally and regions of the same color can't touch orthogonally. And I'm going to have to do something about my window in a minute because this is going to get extremely irritating for you guys and for me if my door keeps banging. Um, but additionally, regions of the same color must be of different sizes. Regions of the same color must be of different sizes. Okay, so if we found a region, if this was a region, and that was a size three region, then if we found another green region in the grid, let's say, let's put it there and make this. Well, what we would know is that this, this, this would have to grow because it couldn't be another region of size three. I'm so sorry about this. I'm about, I don't know how to deal with this. Because closing my window is going to be a nightmare because my air conditioning thing is poking out. Ah! I'm being discombobulated. Anyway, um, maybe the wind will die down if we're lucky. Um, right, what do these arrows mean? So arrows, digits on arrows indicate the distance to the nearest cell of the same colour in the indicated direction. Adjacent cells are a distance of one from each other and not all arrows are necessarily given. So digits on arrows indicate the distance to the nearest cell of the same color. So if that was green and this was three, one, two, three, that would be saying that was green. And what's more, neither of these could be green because if these were green, then this shouldn't have been a three. It should have been a one or a two. Okay, well, that makes sense. I have actually got, as well, I snipped it from Logic Masters, an example, an example of such a puzzle. Now, this is not 10 by 10, this is 6 by 6. But I can immediately see here, if we stare at the grid for just a moment, you can see that there's no instance where two regions of the same color share an edge here. I can also see, now I stare at it, that there are, there's no instance where regions in the same color are of the same size. Now what I haven't thought about is these arrows. So let's just think about those. Yeah, okay, it's fairly clear, isn't it? Like there's a three here, and that's saying the nearest blue cell is three away, one, two, and it is, it's there. The four here is saying the nearest purple cell is four away that direction, and four away that direction, which is true. Okay, I think I get this. Do have a go. The way to play is to click the link under the video, as usual. But now I get to play. Let's get cracking. Um, now, whenever I get a puzzle like this, which has arrows, which are pointing at cells a certain number of units away, I'm always tempted to look at cells like this one, where I can see this could only be a maximum of four. That one could only be a maximum of two, actually. Actually, yeah, okay, so we should put that in. One, two. One, two here, going vertical. 
one, two, three here, one, two, three, four here. I don't think we need to go full good lift on this, do we? At least, well, at least my intention would be not to go full good lift straight away. Let's just try and pick the ones, twos, threes, and fours. And ignore the, ignore the banging door. Um, um, okay. So what's this saying? This is saying that there is a region. Oh. Ah, okay, I've made a mistake already. Well, not a mistake, but I've put one into all of these and that's not gonna be right, is it? If that's a one, let's just make it one. It's in a region of size one. So this is its own region, but it's saying that the nearest green it sees is there. And that can't be right because this is going to be a, a different region to the region of size one and yet it's it's next to it. And we were told not only that regions of the same size can't be orthogonally adjacent, but regions of the same color cannot be. We would have immediately broken the four color theorem and dispra it's like disproving Fermat's last theorem immediately. We're not going to do that today. So this can't be a one is what we're really learning. Let's get rid of that. So and nothing, no, no arrow cell can contain a one. And that means these two cells have to be a two. And I want to make, I want that to mean this has to be a, a three, but this is not Sudoku, so that doesn't follow. Um, right, so what we now know is that this cell, which is green, is the same color as this cell, which is also green. So this color is some, this is some new color, isn't it, here? Um, and this, this yellow color is the same color as this one because of this two clue. So this two clue is telling us that two cells away, which is in this cell, is there something the same color as this? Now, so this is a one because it can't come out. If it comes out to here, um, it's going to touch this two region and be the same color as it, and that's not allowed. So we've got to leave that stranded there in the top of the grid. And now the green has to get out because the green now can't be a size one region or it would be next to a size one region. So the green region has to get out, but I've just realized that the green region can't be a size two region because we've already found a green region of size two. So this is at least a size three region. Um, as Maverick comes by for another fly past. Now, can that be green? If that's green, this would be a one. No, okay. I, I'm being polluted by uh, external noise today, but, oh yeah, this is the corollary, yeah, okay. Okay, sorry. When I took ones out of these cells, the corollary of that, which is perhaps more important, is what you're proving, by, by proving that you can't put one into an arrow cell, what you're actually saying is that whenever an arrow points at a border, it's pointing at a different region to itself, because otherwise a one clue would be appropriate. Yeah, because it would be saying that's, in the, that's the same color as me, and it's not allowed to be the same color as me. Because if it was the same color as me, it should be. A, it sh I'm a I'm a one size region. It's, it's, it's a paradox. It doesn't work. So that means that wherever we get an arrow pointing at a border, we can draw in a line. Uh, and this is going to do a lot of stuff, isn't it? All of a sudden, we are we are cooking with gas. We have. We've got a huge amount of borders in the grid. Um, and we know this is at least a three, so it's got to grow. And that allows us to put another border in because green and yellow are not the same color. And therefore, okay, so my eyes are drawn to this. What's that then? This region is at least a size three, so it's at least pointing here. Um, which can't be green, that can't be three. 
If that's 3 and we make this green, how do we make the 2 work? The 2 to complete itself is either taking this cell or this cell. And whichever one it takes, it will be touching another green region. And that's too naughty for words. So it mustn't do that. So this can't be 3. And if this... Ah! And if this can't be 3, it's at least 4 now. And that means it grows again. And it's now... Its earliest opportunity is to be green pointing at another arrow. Which can't be right. Can it? If you had... No, 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 no. Ah, ah, right. Here is... A... <laughs> I'm so, so... Hopefully the microphone will be clever enough that you cannot hear that it sounds like a poltergeist is having a party in my room. Um, but these two squares here, imagine this was green. Now both of these squares would be a four. And that would be saying there were two green four-sized regions in the puzzle, which is expressly against the rules. And that cannot be true. Unless I've suddenly thought... It certainly isn't true for four. That's impossible. What if this was... What if there was an enormous region? What if these were part of the same region? Is that ever possible? No, I don't think so, because because the bigger than in order to create big regions that you could connect across the grid, this number would be getting bigger, and this number would be getting bigger, and that's saying that they're further and further apart. No, it's, it doesn't work. It sort of iterates to to show that it doesn't work. So you can never have, you could simply never have arrows in this puzzle. two arrows pointing each other in the same colour. Now, now I've stated that, I'm staring at the grid and realising that MicroStudy has in fact included absolutely zero, absolutely zero other examples of that. Is that really true? You rotten thing. I can't see another one of those. That then I might I'm probably missing it. But I think this is the only example in the puzzle of where two arrows are actually pointing at each other. Um, so what we can do now is well we un this is not green, so this is not four, is what we've just learned. So it's at least five now. Uh, now can it go there? That would make this go there. And the answer to that is a don't know. Can it go there? Maybe it's a better question to ask. If it goes to there, then it's saying green is one, two, three, at least here. Um, I'm not sure. This is a new colour, I think. Because it can't be green and it can't be yellow. So we have found a third colour in the grid. I'm going to choose blue. And this blue is at least size 3 because it can't be size 1 or 2 or it would touch another region of the same size as itself. So it's coming out to here which fixes the green look. So green gets finished and we must put a 2 into it. This thing now is pointing either at... Well... No, this... This has got to point at blue, doesn't it? Um, because we've, we've, we've already proved that this... In fact, what we proved was this couldn't be a four because that would cause two arrows to point at each other in a very rude manner. So this is a two or a three. It can't be a one because we proved that we can't have ones on arrows. Now, if this was a three, it's pointing at this square, yet there is a blue square nearer to it than, this, than that. So this must be two which, well, it means at least this. It means that blue, we know this the region is at least three big, so we can grow it a little bit. This now comes down here. So that's got to be a two, and that's finished. We can draw that in, draw that in. Um, this, right, this is a blue region. 
and the blue region can't go up or it would touch another blue re another two region so the blue two region the bluetooth region has to stay <laughs> either there or there ah, or there is its next cell um th this is this is a three this uh, this only sees two colors above it and this can't be a one because for the reasons we've outlined so it must be green and it must be three so that's a green region of size three which means this can't be a blue region of size three or it will touch a, a, a region of the same size so this is now at least a four cell region which has penned this this one in and that is the fourth color by the logic of micro study nonsense <laughs> because this square here which cannot be blue because of this clue it cannot be green because it would be touching a green it could you so it's a one clue isn't it but one the yellow one the yellow of size one already exists in the world so it must be another color well it must be a one of a, of the fourth color and this is the big question in town then what color do we make the fourth color we could make it red which is raw oh no red green color blindness no oh okay sorry no i won't make it red what about orange i know orange and blue are very good but i've got yellow already yellow and yellow and orange are quite close in terms of my eyes at least maybe i'll make it purple what about purple is purple okay purple feels like it's okay so we'll make that purple ah this region however big it gets can't bump into the two region so the two region is now forced to be finished and to be a sideways region um, the green region has to grow it's i've got a five in here so it's now got to come down here so this is this is at least a five as well oh these two numbers it's quite strange but in sudoku terms those two numbers are the same aren't they even though they're in the same column So the earliest, ah, oh, that's gorgeous. Right. So what this is saying is that the earliest we can see a green in this row is five cells away. One, two, three, four, five there. So this cell can't be green, which means this green has to grow horizontally. And this cell can't be green, which means that has to grow horizontally again. And therefore we have finished this region at size three. And now, now this is a size four region because if it grows anymore, it'll touch another blue cell. This is brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. Now, well, now my temptation is to look at that square because, oh, ah, okay. So when I said, that there were no other instances. I was bit, I was completely wrong, wasn't I? Look, those two look at each other, but in the same row, those two look at each other. So again, if these were the same, that would be six, wouldn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, you'd have two green six regions. So this is not able to be green. It certainly can't be blue or it would be a one and we'd have two blue regions next to each other. So it has to signal this, which means it's a purple three out of absolutely nowhere. So that's purple three. Well, oh, I see, look, and it's a down arrow, one, two, that's purple three, and this is on an arrow as well. So that's a purple two. <laughs> and the reason it's a purple two is what else could it be by by the sort of how close it is to the edge of the grid it's either a one two or a three you can't put one on an arrow so it's not that and it can't be a purple three because that's a purple three and there would be two purple three sized regions in the in the puzzle and although i'm saying lots of words beginning with pu you can't peter piper picked a pep peck of pickle peppers purple puzzle pieces can't go can't be the same size you you understand what i mean so this has got to be a two therefore that's got to be purple and that purple region here 
has to not go into this square. So that seems fair enough. Um, this two can't go up either by the same token. It's got to have a lid on it, hasn't it? If that was purple, this three clue would not be correct. Um, now I feel like I'm... Hmm, okay, sorry. Now I feel like I'm stuck. What? Oh, I see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right, this, the size of the green region is now at least seven. So it's got to grow at least one more down column one because it doesn't seem to be able to go there because of the arrow. So this is, hang on, this is at least a seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I see. So it can go, oh, well, it's not purple. Here is a knowledge box for you. Purple and green are not the same color. So this is either a seven or a nine, which means the cell above it is also, this, this, is, this whole thing is either sevens or nines. Oh, uh, that's right. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. What color is that? Is my next question. Now, I don't think it can be purple. Because if it's purple, we've found the purple regions of size 1, 2, and 3. Which means this is at least... A, well, it's actually not a purple 4. So it would be at least a purple 5. 1, 2, 3. It would bang into the purple 2. And that's jolly rude. So it can't be purple. So it... It can't be blue, it can't be green, so it is yellow. That is a yellow region. And it's not a one or a two, so it's at least a three. And no, although it's not a three, and it's not a four, because it already sees threes and fours touching it. So it's at least a five. That's a yellow. So it goes at least to here, because it can't go there. So this region is at least a five region. Uh, which means that square is at least a five. Goodness me. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. So it's a five or a six is, is the only option actually here. Because otherwise the, the yellow that this arrow points at will be off the edge of the grid. So this square is now either blue or green. Now... Are there any restrictions on that? Oh, one, two, three. Yes, there are. That's gorgeous. This is not blue. Because if it's blue, the first blue it sees is three away, which would make this a blue three touching a purple three, and that's not allowed. So this is green, and it's pointing at that, which is, I think, six away. So that's a green six, which is quite a big number. So that's a green six. It's got to get out. It's got to be a six size region. Oh, okay. All right, and that immediately fixes yellow because yellow now can't be six because it's next to a six. So this is a yellow five region. We can we can delineate it straight away. That's going to place yellow. Look, one, two, three, four, there. So the, I was about to write five into that. That's not right. You write yellow into that. You put a lid on it because none of these can be yellow or the arrow would be wrong. And you stare at the grid in the hope of inspiration striking. Is this cell telling us anything clever? Aha. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But my brain's moved on. My brain has moved on to note something quite interesting. Yes, never speak to me at parties. Um... <laughs> have been known to, in, uh, to induce narcolepsy. Um, the um, twos, all of the twos have been found. So there isn't, it's not possible. This is brilliant. So that's a three. That's not a two. If this was a two, there would have to be a second, because we're only allowed to have four different colors, there would be a fifth different color of two. And that won't work. So that's got to be a three, which is pointing here. But I don't know what color this is, I don't think. Um, 
No, I, I don't know how we're meant to know what colour that is at this juncture, but that's... Right, the same thing must be a true here, though. That can't be a 2. So this is 3 or 4, and it's pointing to there or there. Can this be in its uh, ones? Green? We've not had green one, and we've not had blue one. And that could be either of those, actually. That could be green or blue one, or it could be part of this. And that would force purple two to be here. Hmm. Oh, right. Okay, it's this cell. This cell's the same as this cell. What's this? What, how, what are we going to colour this? If we colour it purple... It can't be a 1, 2, or 3, so it's at least a purple 4. It's going to bash itself into the purple 3, which won't work. It can't be green, it can't be blue, so it is yellow, and it's at least a 3. It's not a 3, because if it was purple, if it was yellow 3, it would bash into purple 3 again. So it's at least yellow 4, which means all of those are yellow. Um, I don't think we've had yellow 4 yet, so let's put 4 as a small digit there. Yet purple three now has to come out into those squares and finish. Um, this six thing has to come out one more. This six thing being the technical term for the green region of size six. And this square is pointing at yellow or green. Remember, it can't point at this digit, which could be no. Ah. That can't be a yellow. Because yellow, if it was yellow, it would be a five yellow, five size yellow. And we've just had five yellow there. So this is four. This is four yellow. This is a one region, which is not, which is blue or green. I think. Right, so we better, we well, we can write one in there. That's certainly true. We can put, maybe we colour it both colours. And this digit, well, this digit is not yellow. Because if it's yellow, it's got to be a two. And we've, we know we've had all of the two size dominoes already. So it's not that. So and we know it's not a one because it would be touching a one. So it's got to be touching, it's got to be pointing at green, which is one, two, ah, and that means that's not green. Hang on. Let's stop there for a moment. Is that right? It can't point at yellow, or it would be a two, which we've had. It can't point at this, so it has to point at this. There's only two colours in the row. One, two, three, four, five. So it, so it, ah, so this is green six, which probably means it's going to meet up with it. It is. It's just, it just meets up with its friend and finishes. So that's very smooth, and, and this square now has to be blue. Otherwise, we've got two green regions connected. So now we've got an extra one in the grid, and the only one, one size region we haven't had is green one. We've got, okay, and this has become a, a nine, because that green is very far away from this cell. <laughs> So, the, so this is all nine now and has to grow quite a lot. It's got to grow three more cells. But it can't. Can it ever go there now? Because if that was nine, it would be pointing off the grid, wouldn't it? One, two, three, four. It obviously would be. Why do, we, why do I even need to check that? That's so silly the way my brain works. Ah, that's green. So that's green. Oh, okay. So this green region, however big it is, oh, it could be the green one, but it definitely doesn't go up, does it? Because it would touch another green. So that's got to be uh, a region of some size, but it could be it could be a region of its own size. Um, right, and that means this region, whatever this is, well, this can't be a green one. And it can't be any other coloured one. And it can't be any other coloured two because they've all gone. So it must join up with this and therefore it is purple. And we know it's at least purple four because we've had purple one, two and three. So it's, it carries on again, which means this square comes into, comes into play. So, the, so purple is one, two, three is at least here. 
but if that was purple no that's not going to work is it if that's purple I should be seeing some purple up there because of the arrow and that I'm, I'm certainly not doing that in fact what is this yeah in fact what in fact what is this actually this we know it can't be one because you can't point at the region that's adjacent to you if it's two we, we can't be two we've had all the two two size regions if it's three one two three it's a, a yellow three that could that could be right actually because that would then connect with this yellow three How, what size regions have we had of size three we've only we've had two we've not had blue three and we've not had yellow three okay but then it could be no it can't it can't be blue four blue four already if it's four it's pointing at that blue cell and it would have to be a blue four which is already in the puzzle and it can't be five because that's pointing at another yellow and it sees an earlier yellow than this square so it is it's yellow three both of those are yellow three uh, which means this is yellow three by the power of grey skull and also the fact that this three arrow is pointing down at it now that means that this six cannot go upwards it's got a cap on it otherwise this three couldn't have been a three this three deserves to be bigger we haven't had any threes in the corner today i don't know is it likely you get a three in the corner it's probably getting less likely because it's got to be a blue three in the corner that's the only color we've got left that could be a three region um okay now i feel like i'm getting stuck what about oh dear am i getting stuck what about i haven't got a clue i literally have not got a clue where i'm meant to look now we could think about this is a purple and it's at least a four we know it's not four so it's five six or seven this is purple five six or seven if it's seven it could bump into this as well five six or seven it's not oh that's it oh that's it sorry sorry the, the moment i started to think about this it's touching five it's touching six so it is purple seven which means that this square i think one two three four five six this square is purple i wanted to write seven into it that would not be correct that therefore gets delineated this way we can't have any purple digits in any of these cells in row six that are closer to this cell than this one the nine region has to grow a bit doesn't it? it's got to come at least here now and we know it can't go in there actually oh this is big yeah yes this is huge it can't go there because the arrow would take us off the edge of the grid so this gets delineated one two three four five six seven we can do one more one more cell in this column that's a nine that can't be a nine again that's pointing off the edge of the grid so the nine the nine comes all the way down column one somewhat surprisingly and is finished and the thing i think we've got to look at now is what color is this because the only way this is not purple is if it's a one and to be one it has to be the green one because that's the only thing it can be and that would connect two green regions so that is purple and the purple we've had the purple two and the purple three so it's got to be a bit bigger it's got to be a bit bigger it's at least a purple four and we know it can't come there so it's at least a purple four coming this way That feels like it's really important, doesn't it? Um, I suppose the other thing is this square is now at least a four. So let's write four into that. One, two, three, four. So that could be purple. Five, six. I think there's a lot of things this could be actually. 
What's this digit? This is now not pointing at purple. One, two, three. It's either, it's not a yellow four. One, two. This is where it's nothing and we get very depressed. One, two, what? It can't be a yellow four because yellow four's already been in the grid. So it must be blue. <laughs> And this is where the terrifying count will begin. One, two, three, four, five. Have we had blue? No, we have not had blue six. So that feels a little bit likely, doesn't it? Probably bumps into that. Blue six. Um... Don't know where to look now. I know whatever this colour is, it has to come here because it can't be green. It can't be the green one. Um, ah, okay, this one. If that goes south, surely this shouldn't be a seven because it would see a purple digit very soon. So that goes there and becomes a two and a purplified two, and that gets. Um, right, that's interesting. That's huge. That is huge because now my attention turns surely to this digit. What is that? It cannot be the green one. So it's a it's it's something bigger than one and bigger than two because we've had all the twos and it, and it can't be three. So it's at least a four size region, but it cannot be purple and bang into this. So it's blue. It must be blue by a power. That's got to be right. It can't be yellow. It can't be green. And it can't be purple. That's a blue region of some stature. Um, which, ah, I see that pens in this one. So that's a four. Which means this one must be one, two, three. That's purple. Uh, uh, I was right. Oh, again, I was about to write four into it. I can't get it, can't get it into my head. But that's not how the clues work. So this three region now has only got two ways of growing. No, it's only got one way of growing because if this was um, yellow, this five clue's broken now, so this gets finished. It's got to do that. This becomes a three, a yellow three. This region is, yeah, we know this isn't a size three region. It touches three region. It's not a four region. So it's at least a five region. So it's at least coming down to there. Now, actually, hang on. Oh, this is gorgeous. Look, this is a five region because if it was any bigger, it would bump into a blue region here, which it cannot do. It cannot be part of the blue six because it would, to reach it, it needs to be a blue six. So what we can do there is to do that, do that. The blue six region has to come down here which means we do this, this region, uh, we know this square is at least three large because all the twos have gone and it can't be the green one. So it's bumping in to sixes. And does that mean, yeah, th th this, I want to say this and this have to be the same, don't they? How could this not be in the blue region? It, there's not enough room. The blue region would touch it. So that's definitely a blue six. They're, they're definitely blue six. And this square can't be a six because it would touch the yellow six. So that's a six. And that's finished the blue region. And OK, and we can do one more thing, which is to write fives into these squares. So this region, now this could be the green one region again. Um, okay, so now uh, that can be a green one. Can't, no, that can't be green one because the nine would break. Ah, right, okay. So this, this does join to this and those three are in the same region because it's at least a three. And it's not yellow and it's not purple and it's not green because otherwise this clue this is brilliant so it's blue that's forced to be blue and we've had blue four so that must be blue three and therefore it's it's suddenly not only is it known it's finished and now we have isolated in that cell a one cell region which we know must be the green one out of nowhere um 
which means this is not a green one. So this is at least a green four. So that's got to do some growing. Um, and now that's got to be purple seven because purple seven is coming down here. And it, so if this was a different color, we'd have two regions of the same size touching one another. Um, a thought so filthy, it doesn't bear thinking about. So actually I was about to make this a size four region. That's not necessarily true, is it? This could be bigger, but it does come to at least that square. So that is, okay, this is a region, but might grow. This is a region and can't grow to there because we've already got six cells and that would make it eight. So we can draw that boundary in. We can draw this boundary in. Now purple, this this is at least a five region. Um, so, ah, whoopsie, I want to make this color the same color. Ah, I want to do colors. That's a colored region there. Okay, and now, now I'm stuck. <laughs> um, do we know? Do you know the way to San Jose? I don't. Um, where's the next place to look? I know that any any little cul-de-sacs have to be at least this has to be at least a size four region, doesn't it? I think because. It can't be a one, one or a two size region. They've all gone and it can't be a size three region. So this, this is some new region. Let's make it red for a moment. We know, oh, uh, no, actually I'm not gonna make it red because I can see it's not blue and it's not purple. So it's green or yellow for sure. That is a green or yellow region. Hmm. This is all a seven region, but it's not finished yet. We've got one more cell, which is going to be that one or that one. This, oh, the si ah, this six region can't go there. It's touching another six region. Sorry, that's been obvious for ages. So does that mean this is a six? I think so, because I know that's yellow, do I? Yeah, I know that's yellow because of the five clue. So these two are both part of the six region. And we know, don't we, that that's got to be forced because otherwise the three clues, this cannot be part of the yellow six or this three clues broken. So now. Well. Now I'm just taking stock on how many th size three regions I've put in this puzzle. I have put in all of them. And that is beautiful because now I know exactly how that region works, I think. That is an eight cell region or it's an eight sized region, isn't it? So all of the cells there, there are eight of them. So how could they be in different regions? They could only be in different regions if either they're two regions of size four. Well, if they're two regions of size four, they'll touch each other. So that doesn't work. Or one of them is quite a big region and one of them is a region of size one, two or three. So we could split up an eight cell region into a five and a three, a six and a two or a seven and a one. But the three, two and one size regions do not exist in the puzzle. They've already all been used up. So this is all one region and it is, I want to say, a purple eight region because we know part of it is purple. So that is a purple eight region, a purple eight region. The, now what does that mean? I have no idea. I would like to say, oh, here's a little point I hadn't seen. I've got a blue three here. So that's a blue region which is at least a size. Ah! Oh, no, 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 no. I don't like the look of that. Uh, me does not like look of that at all. Because I've already had blue one, two, three, four, five, and six. That's at least a blue seven. Hmm. 
there's not much there's well there's only 10 cells of white cells down here so if at least seven of those are being hypothecated for yellow sorry for blue hang on so we've got one cell of purple that's not been used so if we had something like this we've got to be very careful actually it's very it's quite difficult to fit i was going to say it's almost impossible to fit a size 7 blue region in here without touching this region um if we know that this would be a, if this is a green region it's at least of size four isn't it i don't think there's enough space for this this to not be part of the yellow six if this is not part of the yellow six we've got to take three cells down here that are part of the yellow six then we've got to have seven cells at least of blue which is going to be all of those that's all it could be. In fact, that's not even, that is seven, but it's touching here and there's not enough space for this to grow. So this must be part of the yellow six, which actually finishes it. That's gorgeous. Okay. So that finishes it because it must connect and that's going to finish the puzzle, I think. Um, yeah, we can draw that in because otherwise these seven, oh no, hang on, is that right? I'm assuming this is a size seven region. Maybe that's not right, actually. In fact, it's not right, is it? In fact, it, it just doesn't work. If this is a size seven region, to not touch that region, it's got to be those squares. But then, then it will touch because this needs to grow by one cell. It'll grow there or grow there. And that's going to make this impossible. So this is not a size 7 blue region. It's at least an 8. So if it's, if it's an 8 cell region. Well, it is an 8 cell region. It can't be a 9 cell region. Because there wouldn't be enough room for this to grow. So this is part of an 8 region which means all of the space is taken up, all of the spare space is taken up by this eight region and this seven region growing its extra, its extra thing that it's got to grow. So this has got to be a four region of green. Now, the thing I'm slightly baffled about here and I'm worried I've made a mistake about, oh no, I see, I see. I was thinking I, uh, that this was ambiguous, which one of these grows, but it's not because of the three clue. You can't, we can't advance this blue set, this blue eight upwards by one cell or this three clue would be wrong. So that's telling us how this finishes. That's gorgeous. What a beautiful finish. So that's all part of a blue eight. That becomes a purple seven. And I think that might be correct. Time taken zero. Solve counter one, only one person has solved this. Um, well, that's not too bad, is it? And it took me no time, apparently, even though the, even though the, the, the video seems to be 53 minutes in length. That time flew. Uh, well, that's just an epic puzzle. It's an epic puzzle. It's really, really interesting. Very smooth. Um, just a sequence of really lovely ideas. And I, I, I love the fact that you had to use the fact that, the, that lots of the region sizes had been, we were sort of quarate on them. And we couldn't, we couldn't, um, we couldn't keep making size two regions. And just staring at it, we have obeyed the four color theorem. I think I can't see where it's broken if I have broken it. And maybe the maybe the solution checker understands the colors. I don't know. But that was an absolute joy. Um, let me know in the comments whether you had a go. I hope you did. And let me know how you got on. I enjoy the comments, especially when they're kind. And we'll be back later with another edition of Cracking the Cryptic. I'm off to slay a poltergeist. <laughs>